In this video, we're going to look at geometric construction tools, creating 2D profiles and being able to switch between multiple profiles. And we'll also introduce a few new tools. We're gonna to make a profile that looks similar to this, and then we're going to make a few adjustments. This will be like a gasket. Create a new design, right click unsaved and create a new component. Within this component, I'll rename this to be gasket. Now I'm going to create a new sketch and I'm going to sketch this on the X and Z plane. You can again, select that through your origin X and Z that should bring you to the front view. I'm going to start by just getting close to my geometry. And I'll line up this top line at 90 and finish up. This will save me a few steps. In this particular drawing, I'd like to make it millimeters. So I'm going to change that now. Hit OK. I'm going to hit the D key to dimension out this particular portion. The distance between this point and this end point is going to be 180 millimeters. The distance between the top and bottom is going to be 120 millimeters. This particular piece will be 50 millimeters. And the distance of this offset will be 40. Should get us a starting geometry. I'm going to draw a circle in this top corner here, and I'm going to make sure that it comes off of this piece. And that circle has a radius of 45, so I'll type a diameter of 90. And make sure it locks, and I'll press Enter. I'll go back to my dimension tool, and I'll click the center of the circle and this point, and my listed dimension is 200. I should move my circle in, and I'm almost done creating my final geometry. I need to join this corner with the circle at a tangent, so I'm going to use my line tool, or L, connected to this corner, and I can do a couple things. I can slide along my circle until I get the tangent symbol. That's the circle with the line. And now my line is tangent. The next step is to clean up my drawing. I'm going to use the trim tool right now and trim away a few of the excess pieces that I don't need. This part, this part, this part internally, this part, and lastly that part. Now I have my final geometry. I'm going to add fillets in the sketch. So I'll use my fillet command. All of my fillets should have a radius of 20. So if I select this and this part, I will add 20. I'm now going to fill it this corner and this corner at 20. And I don't need to change anything. I'm just continuing to click with the fillet tool. I'm going to change this bottom corner at 20. And lastly, this and this corner at 20. That should complete my geometry for my part. The only other thing I need to do is center this part on the origin. So now that all of my constraints are good, I'm going to take a construction line. And I'm going to do that from this point to this corner. I'll do the same from this point to about this corner. And I'll use this as my approximate center point. If you can't get that intersection, you can always add a point. So click point, and it should snap. Now I can take my coincident, coincident this point and the origin. And I found pretty close to the center of my part. Looks good to me. I'll leave all of the dimensions up for a moment so you can see the part and double check to make sure that you have the correct dimensions. Uh, 
I'm going to hit stop sketch. I'm going to extrude my part just in one direction. This profile, five millimeters. And I'll hit enter. Now I have the basis for my gasket design. If I wanted to, I could redefine a sketch. So I can go back to my sketch, edit this sketch, and say I wanted to draw a new style or a different prototype. I could redefine my part using this geometry here, stop my sketch. Nothing changed, but now when I go to edit this feature, I'm going to deselect this profile and select this profile, hit OK. And now I can switch between different designs and iterate on multiple different sketches within one sketch. I'm going to edit that feature again, and go back to my original geometry and deselect that geometry and hit OK. I'm going to save my part right now. My next step is to turn this into a gasket piece. So I'm going to create a projected sketch and I'll scroll all the way down in the sketch menu to project. I'm going to select the top face and this will now include this geometry within my sketch. And it's asking what I want to project. I'm going to make sure I select the whole face and hit OK. Now all of those geometries, constraints, and points are all included within my new sketch. I'm going to select the offset tool and it asks me for sketch curves and a chain selection. So let's select this outside chain. I'm going to flip the position inside and I'm going to offset this 15 millimeters. I'll hit OK. And now when I go back to my extrude to create a new extrude, I will cut through the whole part, flip my piece, make sure my operation is cut and hit OK. And now I've finalized my gasket design. Don't forget to save your design. And if you're going to continue editing, it's always nice to rename your sketches.